a very warm welcome to the blue cube deck so guys in our previous session we have covered that what is strip plot in our today's session we will be talking about the box plots so guys box plots are very interesting and they are very helpful when we are working on the data when we are visualizing the data they help us analyze lot of things over here first of all let's have a look on how does a box plot looks like so, so this is how a box plot looks like so on the left hand side you can see we have some boxes and some and we have some outliers over here we will also learn that how to read a box plot how we will be working with example over here then we will create a box plot using cborn so to create a box plot first of all we will import all the libraries over here we will be writing import cborn as sns we will also import matplotlib.pyplot as plt after this we will import pandas as pd once we have imported all of them first of all now let's uh, load our data set so to load our data set let's go to the repository so here we will be going to the repository of and i'll be writing i anyways use tips all the time so yeah people might think that why i'm going to the repository but still we will be writing sns and first of all we will be writing df df is equals to sns dot load underscore data set so we will be uh, working on let's say tips only and once we are done with this we will be writing df dot head actually first five rows so all the columns but the first five rows over here so we have all the so we have first five rows and all the columns over here once we have got that we need to plot a box plot over here now how to plot a box plot is very simple you need to write sns dot box plot and in the parentheses we will be passing now suppose if i want to plot only one column over here for that what we will be doing we will be writing x is equals to the name of our data is df and in the square brackets i'll pass let's see tip or we can go with the, and i'll put a comma and write data is equal to df that the data is coming from our df and as soon as i run it it gives me a plot like this so this is our uh, plot over here over here on both the side we have whiskers these straight lines over here are called as the minimum value on the right hand side it is called as the maximum value on the left hand side this area where the box plot is starting is called as first quartile on the right hand side this area where the box plot is ending that is called that means the box is ending not the box plot but the box is ending that is called as third quartile and the center line is the median let's understand with the help of an example over here that how can you read a box plot so i'll take a example over here that i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 number of days in a week on first day at a grocery store 30 people came then 25 third day 50 people came then after that we have 40 and then 70 and then all right so this is my data now how will i plot a box plot over here is very simple according to this data first of all i will arrange this data in the ascending order for that i'll take so we have lowest value as 25 next value is 30 then we have 40 then we have 50 then we have 60 and lastly we have so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and we have we need one more value over here so we will be having let's say 55 okay after 50 we have let's say 55 then 60 and then we have 70 okay so these are our values now how to plot a box plot over here is very simple so we will start with the lowest value that is the minimum value minimum value over here okay so this is this is let's say my x axis and here we have for example 10 20 30 40 50 60 and lastly let's see 70 so our first value is 25 25 would be somewhere here then our maximum value over here is 70 70 would be here so these are our left and right whiskers okay put a straight line as well uh, after this we'll be talking about the median median is what the center value over here would be our median so center value over here would be 50 right so 50 would be the center value so this will be our median after this what we have next is our first quartile and the third quartile the first quartile over here is the value is the medium between the values which are lower than median so these three values over here are lower than median and their median is 30 right 30 is somewhere here similarly the third quartile over here is the value between these three that means the values which are greater than our median value and median of those three values is 60 so one would be here and now what we will be doing so it has nothing to do with the thickness of the box plot so we can just create a rectangle over here okay it's just going right ways this will be our box plot let's join these lines this is how a box plot looks like where center value is the median this is our quartile 1 this is our quartile 2 this is our minimum value and this is our maximum value and lastly if we have any values like this 
okay if you see any dots like these these are outliers that means the value which are too far to come inside the box plot and that could also happen on the maximum side as well so this is how you read a box plot now let's move ahead and work about the functions that are there in our box plot so once we have created a box plot over here this is our normal box plot on x axis if i want to take x and y both the axis over here for that i'll be writing x as an s dot box plot here I'll be passing my x is equals to, so x is equals to, let's say we have sex and y is equals to, we have tips and here data is equals to df. Now let's run and see. So once I run it, I'll get the output in this way. So in the y we have written tips instead of tips. So I'll just put it to tip and now we have an output which looks like this. So here we have two values here, uh, blue is showing as the male and the uh, orange is showing as the female. We can add the hue as well over here. So I'll just do one thing. I'll just copy this data and add a hue. For adding a hue, we need to just write hue is equals to hue will be based on let's say smoker. So I'll be writing smoker and if I run it, it will give me the value like this that uh, in the categories of male, the blue one is showing if they are a smoker or not. So blue is showing yes and the orange is showing no. While at the same time in females, the blue is again showing if they are smoker or not. So blue is showing yes and the orange over here is showing no. After this, if you want a particular color over here, you can add a color as well. Suppose if you want to give a color is equals to pink. Okay, so it could not be given if we have given a hue. So first of all, let's use palette. So I'll be writing palette is equals to where it is. And if I run it, this is how it would look like. So we have given a palette over here. Similarly, if I paste the data again and if I want to give colors to these bars, so I'll be writing color is equals to, let's say, hot pink. And if I run it, I'll get the output looks like this. So you can give colors according to your choice or you can provide a list of colors as well where you, if you want a different colors for both of them. So if I want and I will give red and hot pink but that would be inside a list so I'll be just passing a square bracket over here and if I run it so this is how a box plot with pink color hot pink color would look like next suppose you can see we have lines over here if you want to give it a width in that case what you can do you can give a parameter called as line width line width is equals to 3 if I run it I'll get a line width which is a little bold so you will see that the width of the line has increased over here now similarly if you want to give an orientation over here in that case what you will do you will write sns dot and box plot I'll be writing box plot data is equals to df orientation is equals to horizontal so if I run it uh, the edge should be given inside a double quotation and now if I run it, it would give me a box plot like this which is based on size, tip and total bill. So you can define whatever part of it you want. Suppose if you want, let's say tip for tips only, it would give me a box plot which is based on tip and if you want a vertical one then you can just change the orient to V and it would give you a vertical box plot in this way. Or if you want any other thing over here, another, another column over here, you will be writing total underscore bill, total bill. And if you run it, you will get it for the total bill as well. So here over here, you can see some outliers are there. These outliers are showing that they are some of the very high values over here. So I hope guys that box plot over here is clear to you that how we can create a box plot. If you want to also give a grid lines over here, suppose to understand this, if you want to give a grid lines, then you can give a grid lines as well by writing. So I'll be just adding over here style is equals to so here I will be writing seaborn dot set and style is equals to white grid and now if I run it seaborn instead of seaborn we will be using it as sns so sns and now you can see we have got the grid lines over here so if you want a grid lines to understand data in a uh, better way so you can see that over here we have a grid line so you can see the, the minimum value or you can you can talk about the first quartile actually over here so first quartile is very close to 2 then uh, if I talk about our third quartile it is somewhere between 3.5 3.6 and something so median over here would be somewhere around 3.5 or 3.6 and we have the minimum value which is around 0.5 and the maximum value which is around 5.8 or 9 ish something right so this is how we can create a box plot over here I, I hope all the functions and how to read a box plot over here is clear to you in our next session we will be talking about the categorical plot so stay connected guys and I'll see you in the next session thank you